Let me start. Okay. So, hello, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Slice Podcast, which is focused on elevating the wealth of Africans globally. And I'm here with David for season two. Two. <laughs> It's been and, two you know, whole we've years. We've not been at, we've not done this for over a year now. So two, this is this is yeah, yeah it's over, over a year, a year. now. We yeah, start our last year, episode was thirty plus. December for yes. twenty twenty two. So we, whole, yes. we missed out yes. on the whole election. We missed out on, on the whole dollar and everything. <laughs> so it was it was the last time we met like this. How much was dollar? Yeah, last the last time we, time we met like dollar. Was six hundred seven hundred? That was dollar. Like it was six hundred and <laughs> no, no, no. What happened? What happened that month? There was a spike. I remember the spike yeah. to eight hundred, and everybody was scared. Then it came back yeah. to seven sixty, seven seventy. And then as of today, we are glad or not glad to announce. We are glad to double it. <laughs> so we are glad to double our money. In the, in, if you wanted to double your money in one year. Just put your money in USD. Then just convert your money, put it under the bed, and just wait till January 2024, and you've doubled your money. So it's really yeah, incredible. Literally right? doubled um, it. Yeah. So, so like, how's, David, how's, how are you doing? Hope you're good. I'm good. I, I'm 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 adjusting back to this. So I had to make <laughs> I had to make jam start because I've not done this in so long. So. Oh, for starting. You're making me emotional. Okay, so I have I have a question for you. How has the past year been? Because this past we haven't it has been a year now. No, it has been thirteen months yeah. now. Exactly thirteen months. Yeah. Since we fa- so there's a whole lot that must have happened. How are you now? Are you out of the country? I'm seeing some some things in your background. There's to be like you're out of the country. And all no. that. But... No. <laughs> so I, I... With the last time we we did the podcast, I mean, Kevin yeah. went to Texas. Um, yeah. We had the podcast. We had less than a thousand users. So it was last less year than was a thousand. like, yeah, we had less than a thousand users when we started the podcast. We had a thousand users as of January twenty twenty. I cannot remember. I cannot remember having anything yeah, it's, less it's than insane. five. It's wow. Yeah. So wow, now, wow, like, wow. we're it's it's just been like a whole roller coaster um since yeah. then and we've been pushing we've been helping people save helping people invest you know personally i'm still in nigeria even though okay. secretly i'm a uk citizen you get okay. in my mind yeah i'm not two yeah. people here because what i've seen i, I need to I need to go there you get yeah it's just been a huge roller coaster since last year to date. Um, but the reason why I wanted to do the podcast again is because a lot of people were actually asking us how far this podcast yeah, was really helpful. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they missed the interaction. Yeah. So we're going to be. Yeah, and funny firing. enough, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of pods like this came up last year when we were first. Exactly. So. When we relax, she gets. When we relax, but it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's, there's enough space we're, in we're the back. clouds for the birds to fly. You understand? <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> um, so for me, my past year, I think for me, it was majorly a time of building, a time, a time of, a time of, like learning. Do you understand? Like, yeah. What I knew when we started the pod and what I know now, like, as I am now, I can probably do, like, back-to-back just because of how much accumulation I've made over the years, over the year. So, for me, it was a lot of understanding, understanding, like, how the macro economics work, the micro, yeah. and all that. Because on all sides, we've grown. And in the role that I serve, the growth directly affects me. Because it's not, if it was, like, a front-end role, you know, you're just, yeah, the product is the product, no matter how many users you make. But for yeah. my role, if the users are increasing, then <laughs> my own work too is increasing. It's also so, increasing as well. Yeah, yeah. So there's been a lot of growth on my end, a lot of learning, a lot of financial, financial learning, basically. Yeah. And a lot of helping people. I think in this past yeah. year, I probably answered more questions than I've ever had to answer ever. In your life. So, <laughs> 
in my life. So everybody, was it, like, guys, everybody enough, knows like, enough, David. Yeah, you want to say something? No, no. no, I wanted to say that in tribe. Yeah, everybody. Just, I, was, just I just want to point out that like, okay, the the work you're doing in the tribe, just the work you're doing in the tribe is amazing, and like being Thank helpful you. to. Yeah. It's not even just about, you know, like saying, okay, I want to praise David. Like David has actually helped. You know when you say you're helpful, you know. So if you're yeah. not even on the tribe, I don't know. Like you need, you need, you need to connect with David. You need to join the tribe. It's such a, yeah. it's such an, it's a movement right now. It's an impactful movement. People are actually engaging and asking really tough questions, and we're just yes. there to help people actually get to the best, yes. to the best level that they want to. So really, really appreciate what David is doing here yeah, with the community. Thank, thank so, you so much. Thank you so much, Chow. Thank you so much. If if you're on the tribe, for example, last year, which is funny because. Last year, it's almost like we moved all our efforts from here to the tribe. But this year, we are going all out. Tribal, yeah. Bordo, everything, back, <laughs> back, everywhere. What's the name of that movie? Everything, everywhere, all at once. So that's exactly. what we'll be doing this year. So this is a new year. And it is a year of so much change. A lot, of, a lot is already happening so quickly. It's January ending now. But it feels like I've used like two, three years in the year. So... I just wanted to ask for exactly. your outlook for the year. Like, how are you seeing this year? How is the year, you know, going for you? How do you think the year will go on the, on the monetary side of things? For me, this year is just to be very cautious um, because there's a lot of hardship in Nigeria. And usually when, um, when there is really high inflation, high uncertainty, um, there could be a lot of schemes out there that can really um, entice people oh, to invest mm. here, put your money here, everything. Okay. If you check when MMM happened, you know, things, you check inflation that time, it spiked, dollar spiked that time. So it's, yeah. when there is always hardship, when there is always difficulty, that's where you see a lot of, you know, misalignment with crime rates going up, um, people being kidnapped, people being, you know, doing all sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get to see all of the issues with, um, you know, fraud and stuff going on. So just being cautious is one thing that um you mm-hmm. have to really do, and just cautious with your with your health, with your environment, with your money. You know, so just being a single cautious. But I think being able to diversify is something that is really important. Being able to diversify. So how why, do you why sort of create a way where you're not left behind? You're not left behind. Yeah. But when you think about it, your money has to be in USD. Like it, 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 mm. it just just for your sake. I think I made a post on my on my story yesterday on WhatsApp, and I, I'll just like see. It doesn't make sense for all your money. Like if they turn you upside down, if you don't have yeah. one dollar somewhere. It it's it's insane. Like you, you should have you mm. should have some allocation, ten dollars every single month. But it, don't, it really don't helps you see a scenario? Time. Don't you see a scenario? Do you see a scenario whereby things change? At least this year, sometime yeah. this year. I doubt. I really doubt. And I have mm. to see some because what I've been seeing so far, like promises, like oh, we're going to do this. Oh, we're going to do. I've been seeing a lot of promises. I've not seen an active policy that would revive the economy. I've not seen that yet. So, for example, now I've not seen an active policy that would help with. How do we boost manufacturing? How do we boost like local goods being produced here? Yeah. Like I've not seen that yet. And I feel like that is where like value comes in. I've not seen an active well, I know that like the Minister of Um Um Tech, Information and Tech. And what's his name? Uh Minister Dr. Bosu. Bosu. Dr. Bosu. Fantastic. Yeah. Another thing that we should he's been doing a lot of good work with trying to get people to get like tech skills. So that yeah, they can upskill and learn stuff. So yeah, I know that like in Nigeria, we need to manufacture more. So that's important. Like we need to make sure that so we find out if we don't have a policy right now that would have like five refineries by the end of the year, we are joking. We are still joking. We're like we're still mm. joking. Um so all of us should not be betting on Dangote refinery to save the economy. We need like yeah. five Dangote refineries so that we can mm. be able to do something important. So that we can then I think just yeah. Like just being able to, like, I think we need to produce more. Um, agriculture is a is the easiest sector to get into. 
like to make sure that we are producing more. And we have a lot of that. Like we have a lot of land that we can use. So that is it. Then I think our labor, our, our workforce is my the whole world is going global and a lot of people are earning really good skills. So we need a lot yeah. of policies directed to that to make sure that that actually grows really fast as well. So I think the, if I'm seeing those three trends happening at the same time, it gives me confidence that, okay, this year is going to end really well. And I'm sorry that I'm mm. not very optimistic at this point in time. Optimistic but I've about, not seen all about of those things, things turning out like that. Yeah. Yeah, I've not, yeah, I've not seen it yet. But hopefully, I mean, I, I hope it's actually to make things... But, but, but what better. about, yeah. for example, now, we... Do you see like debt as an out for the whole for the whole issue? Like Nigeria on? raising debt? Yeah, raising like debt. short term, short term, short term solutions. I think for Nigeria yeah, as a country, for like us. No, 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 no. For example, now what we are dealing with is a is a function of demand and supply. Especially now that the market is yeah. freely floating. So in a situation yeah. whereby we borrow to to cover the shots that we have. Oh, okay, got you. Term. Yeah. Got you. I think borrowing is good. I mean, most of the issues we have are not short-term issues. So okay. most of the issues we have are really institutional problems that require, mm. like, if... That's why I said that I'm not expecting to see results this year. I just want to see active policies, like active direction yeah. towards this, to make me feel okay, like okay, that, okay that's we going put to it in, we put it, a, we put a bill down. We've made an act that we're going to do. Yes, yeah, so like in there, the next there are some things that exactly. Like I was yeah. watching a video. You know that? Do you remember when we used to have like Vision 2030 or something like that? Like Vision most, 2020. The, Vision the most 20. the most popular one I know is 2020. Yeah. So we have Vision 2020. We had yeah. that for, I don't know, more than 10 years or 20 years or something like that. Mm. I don't think we achieved anything. In Dubai, they have five-year vision. They have, like, right now, they have, as of 2021, they have a Vision 2025. That's yes. a really yes. short-term, yes. very concise vision. They said that in the next five years, we want to do XSX. And you know that XXX. that politician that said, I'm going to do it, in fact, he's still going to be in office. It's not his... Uh, yes. What, if it's 2020 now, the people that suddenly they've gone, they've left. They've gone. And Nigeria is just like hanging. So I feel like for for short-term things, I don't think we... like It's not going to help us. We're just spending money. You know when you're just you know, um, spending and yeah. burning money up and down? I feel that's what's going yeah. to happen with short-term loans. And you're not entirely confident that the government will allocate those loans properly. So yeah. I just feel like anything that we're doing now should be really like these are the these are the things that we want to achieve. Like like the president should really come out and say, hey, we have two years, we have three years, and year one, these are the things that we are going to sort of implement. Results might not come in this year. Just be honest with us. Don't lie to us. Results might come mm. in, you know, you know, in the next yeah. two to three years. You two know, and hopefully years. if I'm running for re election. I'm already showing like workings. I'm already showing that mm. oh, these are the things I said though. This is what's happening and these now. These are the things I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. These yeah, are the yeah, things yeah, I'm yeah. doing now, so you guys can re-elect me. You know, so I think that's yeah. important. I don't know what short-term debts will do for now because most of our stuff are really infrastructure Long-term issues. Long-term issues. So to, yeah. 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 So, so based on that, there's been a there's been a question that. I think I was yeah. asked last month or so. So, this was like, oh, along the lines of, is it really everything, especially when it comes to like the economy, like the finance side of things, what affects me, what affects you, that is solely on the government? Is there anything yeah. that I can do that is not like, oh, because the person was like, this is what the person said. So, the person came to the tribe and was like, ah, it's like anytime, anytime, every time, every time, government, like, this is not yeah. politics, you know. This is a <laughs> personal finance stuff. So, like, I had to, I had to, I had to, like, answer him, but it's, it still got me thinking that, okay, is it really every single thing that is um, this administration, this administration? What, what, yeah. Is, is it right to say that, or is there anything that we can do, like, to just change things, mm-hmm. or is the function of up and down? Our op- the only thing um, that can change is the government. Yeah. I honestly think that... Mm-hmm. Do you understand where I'm coming from? 
Yeah, I get you. What what, what okay. do you think? What do you think from your own angle? Like, how did you answer the person? <clears throat> what do you think from your own angle? So the way I answered the person just was like get this. Your the, the way I answered the person was like this. So, so first of all, we are tiny pieces in the chessboard. You understand? The economy yeah. as a whole is a chessboard. It's kind of like when you look at the multinationals, when you look at the industrial companies, you see what I'm saying? Like if yeah. if for example if for example now NASCO decides to raise prices, they don't care about people in Kogi. They are raising prices for everybody. Yeah. That yeah. is the price. So using that, that's what I used to explain to you that as much as we can say, oh, I mean, I, I can do, you know, we, are, we get motivational stuff, we can change the world. Da, 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 da. We are not responsible for changing benchmark interest rates. Even yeah. though you pray, <laughs> even though you fast. That's you, a very see, specific you, example. You, 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 can, you can write later, you can say, Mr. Cardoso. I don't know his full name. But yeah. I don't, and I don't want to call him his nickname because this is... <laughs> <laughs> they will just come for us. <laughs> yeah. So, Mr. Cardoso, I am, a, I am from your local government. I was in your class in GSS2. And I, please, I want you to change yeah. the benchmark interest rate so that we can be able to attract more funding to the country. You can write later. If you are not on the board, because there's a, there's a CBM board, I don't want to take time to yeah. break it down, but they, are, they meet monthly to decide these things. The NPC and... Even though they've not rest. met for months, yeah, but... Even though they've, they've not been... met for months. So, so if you're not part of that, as much as you want to shake and be a world changer... Yeah. There's nothing you can do. You can't really do much. And their yeah. decisions affect Honestly. each and every one of us. See what I'm saying? We don't yeah. change the way dollar enters. Because the, main, the major movers in Nigeria, there are a few people to get we have the oil marketers deciding how much they want to bring in the oil. If you are not part of the oil marketers, it's not you with your 25 kg, 25 liter, this thing that's going to scream at or make it cheaper. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like those 100%. guys decide what happens. And if you are not part of them, then you can only, you can only hope. I think, I think you're right. I mean, so the way I would, look, the way I would probably put it is the government is the sole reason why the government is, you know, in power is number one, security. Um, like security is really important. Like if your country is not yeah. secure, nobody's going to invest in it. So I think that's really important. That's why we say that, oh, a failing state. Like when you, when someone mentions that Nigeria is a failing state, they always look out yes. for what's going on, why are people being kidnapped, what, what's going on in this area, where the bombings happening, stuff like that. The other thing that will probably lead to the government is meant to do is just to create like enabling environment for yes. things to happen like so yes, just how yes. what kind of environment you know, are you creating just, just to add just yeah. to add to and uh, just to add to what you're saying and the thing is they have for example let me give you an example if yeah. we start a service whereby you can you can bring drones you have drones in your house yeah you can carry bread and beans from your kitchen airlift it safely they are not hitting any bed they are not killing any bed they yeah. are not, no play to your customer perfect yeah. business plan because drones are like fixed price there's no foil or that and let's say you got yeah. drones cheap from some farm in let's say china and the yeah. government said you are not going to do that business there's nothing you want to do. <laughs> you're not going to do it <laughs> nothing you remember you remember you remember, and, and this one I, I mentioned this, I always mention the story of um, what's the name of these people that they are Okada? What's their name? Um, Go, oh my goodness. Gokada. 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 Yes. They went to Lagos State. I'll never forget that month. Not two months. It was when we were still in the other place. Yes. Yeah, Gokada. Lagos State office. Max. They snap picture yes. with government. They, they snap picture with the officials that month as in let's go for oh. please love us so, you know ops the next month they brought out a decree everything go and the rest shut down and there's nothing yeah. people were lobbying there's nothing they were doing video they were using their helmet to protest it's nothing anyways just, I just, just wanted shows... to add that to your 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, it just shows like the government's role. And if you're not creating the enabling environment for people to thrive, right, it's going to be difficult for the average person. So there, there is actually a limitation for yeah. the average person for what they can actually do to make the country better. So the conversation yeah. really for most Nigerians shouldn't be what should you do to make the country better because that's the job of the leaders. That's why we elect yeah. them the to do the top, right yeah. thing on behalf of the country, right? Yeah. The, the conversation should really be what should I do for myself? Like as an individual, mm. like what, what should I, yeah. based on what I'm seeing now, what's the yeah. best decision for Example, myself as a person? Slice. Yes, yes. Example, watching the watching slice. The slice. Yes, yeah, that's yes. really important, really important. Oh, thank you very yeah. much, mm -hmm. So, like, it's the whole conversation really is about like yeah. you, you, you can't do. If you're complaining about, I, I tell people that oh, when you see the dollar rise or when you see, yeah, um, it's you can't. Don't be sad. You you can't do anything. Hmm. The person that is meant to can't do it. Some people are yeah. working to make sure that that doesn't happen. You get that's their yeah. full time job. For you, you should make sure that you as a person. You're sort of protected so that you don't what really so, affects you is what's the price of rice when you go next month to buy it what's yeah. the price of beans when you go next month to buy it? when you're restocking hope you're not shouting ah 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 in the yeah. market okay. that's really what affects you and it's all about your money all about your income so if it yeah. means like getting like another side gig if it means like getting more dollar payments into your pockets yeah. that's what you have to do for you Right, um, hmm. and that's the best, really. You can actually, you know, do. Yeah. So, you know, so there are things that are fixed. There's, there's a conversation. There's something my friend always says. She always talks about how it is very important for you to stay focused on things you can control. I think that's where yeah. it comes from. Like knowing that okay, you cannot control the dollar. You are not moving enough. Dollar. Like the people who are moving, the, the they are there. Well, there are people moving. who are moving yeah, two, two m, twenty m in a day. You are not part of them yet. You will get them one day. Listen to the yeah. slides. But yes. for now, just focus on things you can control rather than things you can't control. So, yeah. So, thank you for that. Uh, moving, the main purpose of the board is just to talk about the outlook for the year. Since it's the first month in the year, you need to have like an outlook. Like, oh, how we do this? A lot of people have published their own outlook. Microsoft, Microsoft just dropped their future of work, how work will look like this year. So, this is this is a decise intelligence uh, committee dropping our own outlook for the year. <laughs> so, size intelligence, SIN, SIC, no, SIC, size intelligence SIC. committee. Yeah. Chair and co chair. It. Anyway, so we're talking about <laughs> the outlook for the year. So, how do you see standing outlook? How do you think things seems to be bought? How do you think that will go? And then also, like, advice on how people should look forward to should be looking forward to spending in 2024. I want to make sure that my words are exact. Bro, you know the funny thing is? Yeah? I'm expecting spending to sort of contrast a bit. And the, the, the reason is when there is high inflation, yeah. people tend to buckle up. They tend to make sure that they focus on necessities than any other thing. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I think that's so just, just what's a, going to just happen. A, just a pointer to what you were saying. I was talking to, I was talking to someone. This is like a pointer. You know what, what we do on the slides, especially when you have the chair and the coach here, like today, we drop some, you know, stand, so. <laughs> so I was talking to someone about the person is a business owner, and yeah, the person was talking about the whole, you know, situation tough. Da, 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 da. So I told the person that anything you want to be doing now, any product service you want to be marketing it now, you should be marketing it as a necessity yeah you understand for example you are you are cutting hair you should be marketing that or okay, come and cut your hair so that you know they can always remember in your office you know they are laying off job now so that they will not leave you <laughs> because your hair is not fresh and you know you need you understand you are marketing it as a necessity because the only thing people are going to be paying money for now is that it's absolutely necessary people are leaving yeah. to water they are buying pure water the pure water, mm. they will buy more than enough than they have ever bought before. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's in uh, yeah. there. So, just for a tip for people who are business owners, things of the sort, service providers, make sure that you are positioning yourself to look or appear or to be 
a necessity. Because only necessity. I think that's survive. really important. So just I I was just another, another thing that another thing I'm actually looking out for is like loan apps, like making a kid this year, like Ooh. making so much money this year, because it it makes sense to collect. So it makes sense to collect like hundred k loan, buy whatever you want to buy, and pay whatever interest because it's going to be it's probably lower than I was the growth, this, the growth this, of inflation. This thing, this thing, this thing, we must have. Yeah, a, 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 we must have like a, <laughs> an episode just for it because I was disagreeing. So on. this thing was like, blah, 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 don't take. I'm like, if you know how inflation works, you will not say this kind of thing. It's like it favors yeah. people who who take. So, wow, wow, wow! That's like, my... like if you can offer loans, um, short-term loans, three months, six because Nigerians don't like too much. Most of the working class people they don't like to owe too much. The people that I know, sure. But like, if you can offer loan for three months, six months, um, quick interest, you know, something that you know that, um. And people are able to yeah. actually like take those loans to buy basic things. Like someone can decide that you know what I want to buy ten bags of rice, you get, yeah. and they'll lock up. Ba- you can ba- even ba- give ba- loans ba- to like bag of bag of rice. Is how much now? I priced it last week. The person was saying sixty-seven thousand. The last last one I heard and like saw the purchase was sixty. 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 So this this is like Saturday, and today is Saturday. So this, ah so. More recent. So let's go on. Let's go on. So if you if you see like, um, I feel like that that that's like where and even like loan loan apps essentially loan apps for even businesses. So imagine someone that is buying in bulk of yeah. all of this bag of rice you get, and you can tell yeah. the person that you know you know that this bag of rice is going to increase. You already know. So don't even stress yeah. yourself. Just go. I can give you a hundred million. The bag of rice business is a fantastic business. Can just talk it Amazing. up to increase. It was, it was, it was fifty in November, and people were shouting. Yeah, fifty. And you will shout in November. You shout. And you know that people have to eat rice. It's not like That's not, it's, it's not it's like it, you're selling like fat. It's, it's, it's like we were saying before. It's a necessity. Like people, it will, yeah. it will even even as yeah. it's higher, it sell it's out. Will, so That's a really cool like business. If you're really savvy and you have access to loans, you can literally buy, yeah. I don't know, 200, 1,000 bags, you know, stock yeah. it up somewhere and see where what margins you can make. I think loan apps are going to make a killing this year. I feel it's important for people to even test it out and see where, where it goes. Mm. Um, so that's something well, I'm looking going to, out just, for. Just to uh, piggyback, we're going to have a dedicated, like, how to. Who we'll have someone over who yeah. is in the business and can really advise you because a lot of people have been scarred, which is funny because next from our next voice our next voice chat is going to be on your relationship with with money and just understanding how uh-huh. people yeah so it's a lot of join the tribe join or go on I and maybe the third one is just like dollars like. Dollar investing, buy. dollar savings. Just buy. Just buy. And literally, like, it well, takes you nothing. Just buy. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what else to... You know, before, like, the conversation was always around that, oh, what if I invest now on... What if I invest now on Keb1 dollar drop? Nobody's saying it again. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, no one is saying it Nobody. again. And it... And you know that, again, again, to be fair, yeah. it can drop. It can drop, you get. But yeah. when you really look at it from a long term perspective, when you're yeah, thinking the, of and the macro, oh, I'm thinking yeah. of a macro level kind of thing. Warren Buffett so for last year don't made understand, like macro means micro means like macro means like um larger scale, you know, like larger scale, like example, in country wide economics. Yeah, country wide. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Yes. So micro means the smaller. That is me and you. Maybe in the smaller. Yeah, me and you. Vicinity. Maybe exactly. Yaba. Yeah, so that's exactly. Cool. So I wanted to so give the fun. contrast to why why we are I don't know we can't swear in this podcast, but why we are in shit. So okay. last year alone, I think Warren Buffett made roughly around thirty billion dollars in dividend. That's wow. equivalent to our our reserve as a country. Our reserves were low. I didn't know it was that. Our reserve right now is probably as of as of 
maybe December is probably hovering around 30. So that's really good. Um, so that's like, that's how, that's how crazy things are, you know? So mm-hmm. when you're investing, like when, the reason why I'm always saying like, I'm not saying you should put all your money in dollars. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. But I honestly feel like it's, a lot of people will be considering, people that have not considered it before would start considering yeah. it now as a way to actually hedge mm. and yeah. put some, any money I'm thinking of long term and just put it there so that, okay, I have something that sort of can protect me yeah. personally as an individual. So I think that's really important. Yeah. So those are three yeah. things yeah. I'm looking out for this year. Looking out for this year outlook. Hmm. 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 Standing end of things. I think for me, um, for me, it's a no-brainer, which is funny because if you probably check like the archive, you probably have like an episode just on inflation. We don't even tweet yeah. that. We don't. We don't do that stage. We don't. And now it's it's like it just it continues every time, every time, every time, every time. But I mean, it's it's the phase that we are in. It's the phase that we are in. Every country has their phase. So hopefully yeah. we survive this one. And with and by listening to these slides, yeah, I'm more equipped to survive it. So for me, this year you shouldn't really be buying singles. Anything mm. like you shouldn't buy singles at all, unless it's perishable. You shouldn't be buying mm. singles. Yeah, so if you are buying tissue, buy the pack. If you are buying air freshener, buy pack. If you are buying uh, what else? Detergent, buy carton. Do you get what I'm saying? Like mm. buying but yeah. we don't need any too more too long talk. Like everybody already knows how that's going, so just buy in bulk. Cause it's just, <laughs> just <laughs> like at this point, just buy in bulk. You know, I was saying I was saying something about Argentina. So Argentina is also facing currently Argentina's inflation rate is about two hundred and fifty two hundred and sixty percent official. So I was saying something that most people there, the restaurants there they don't have, they, they have swapping out traditional menus, like paper menus. And they are giving them digital, all of them are using digital menus now so that they can update the prices as it's going. <laughs> so in a day, they can update like twice, three times. Uh, if you don't order in five minutes, price will change. <laughs> so we, we are not oh, there yet, but the way it's looking, so just... Bruh, let me tell you a story. Money. Sorry, I'm just... Yeah, like, yeah. Sorry, let me tell you a story. This really happened mm-hmm. real life. So I go to the was this ozone side. There's a there's a small mall in the whole ozone this thing. The small mall. Yeah, there. is that is one and, of the floors, Abby? Yeah, the ground floor when you're just entering. Okay. There's a supermarket by the left. Okay, so I think that yeah, was last yeah, yeah. year. I know, I know what you're talking about. I go in to buy stuff. I can't even remember the stuff I went to buy. Yeah. I see the price tag there. Because okay. yeah. I'm budgeting, like, okay, I'm going to spend like 10k. Man, in this place. 10K. I think it will stress me, yeah. And I now say, okay, I pick everything. I go to the counter to make payments. The English they were telling me was that, sorry, all the things that the price that you saw, like mm-hmm. you saw when you were picking it, they changed it in the system. Yes, they changed it right there and then, they changed it in the system. So, they have to go back and probably like update the price in the shelf. But the price in the shelf is different from the price in the system. So um, you could imagine my confusion. <laughs> you could imagine my confusion. I'm like, God, yeah. what is going on? What is going on? So was, I can imagine was, a country where like... This was last. <laughs> you know, last year. So imagine a, a, imagine a situation where like in Argentina, over like 200%. Like yeah. that means things are changing like every day. Every day, things are just, like those day. new things happening every day. So yeah. it's like you have to really be on top of your pricing to be able to make some money. Yeah. But we, what will you say? What will you say about saving, like the traditional way of saving money this year? You know how people have those oh, one million challenge, and by doing one million challenge, one k every day or two k every second or two five k yeah. every minute. Do you, Do you think that that's it? Because a lot of people usually when they start off the year, that's like that. Okay. I want to have two M by the end of this year. Like, what are your thoughts around this yeah. given the current climate of things? I think I actually, I honestly think it's fine. It it helps. There there are fantastic positives to it. That oh, 
it helps you to build some discipline. You obviously yeah. save some money that you're going to spend. You know, I the I think it's it's a good thing in general. Like there are lots of positives to that. And everybody should save. Like you should you should save that. I think my only like concern is like if all that savings is actually in um NGN, you yeah. you might be losing out on some really good gains. So mm. try as much as possible to just diversify. You just try. It. Just do yourself a favor, to be honest. Just diversify yeah. and make sure that it works out for you. So, yeah, so instead of having... But I think it's awesome. Like, I've been seeing, like, 5K every week. Yeah, you know, I've been seeing... Week. There's been a lot of talk, yeah. talk about that. So 100K every week. And so the only funny said, thing is, like, yeah, savings, yeah. Will actually, savings will actually go up this year. Like, people would save more this year. Because, like, yeah. I mean, the money mm-hmm. that you're not spending, you know... So if you're buckling up, you just want to say, okay, ah, this money, maybe I'll save it hopefully buy in bulk, you know, save some mm-hmm. money and make sure I buy everything at once yeah. instead of, you know, um, spending at the moment. So of, that might happen because most Nigerians of. don't like even loans. When they hear loan, they always run away. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying, like, talking about, like, your relationship with money. Like, some people tell them loan like this, they cannot, they cannot. They cannot. Fat on yeah. it. They, they just can't. They just can't. They're rather so, safe to very... us buying that thing. Yeah. Which is funny because, for yes, example, okay. say you wanted to save towards an iPhone in January, and then yeah. you now finally get the money <laughs> in April. <laughs> <laughs> you now got to knock on the vendor's DM and say, Boss, how far? It's time. I'm ready. I want to spray everywhere. Uh, it's a, it's it's a sorry, you shocked me. Say, Sorry, it has added one <laughs> dollar. It's dollar, sir. Mm-hmm. It's dollar. So, I, me, I personally pe- just love, believe that people people abuse that thing. People abuse it. People abuse it because our country is already a very import dependent economy. So if there's any small like small issues on like the exchange rate issue, people just find a way to capitalize on it. So yeah. So I think two two very key things you've said when it comes to output for this year for spending for saving. No, very three things. Number one, dollar, 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 which is very interesting because we have been dollar now for the past two years. Only yeah. dollars, no naira. We foresaw it. We saw the vision of the co-founders. They saw it, <laughs> and they said something is going to happen. One day we'll be hitting two thousand naira, and here we are. So we have been doing dollar for a while now. So. Number one dollar, number two, buying bulk. Like bulk doesn't pay. Yeah. Uh, buying singles doesn't pay because by the next time you buy it, you just you just be crying. So the third thing is that the third thing is that look toward lending. Look towards that. Now it's going to be hard yeah. to navigate that because the thing is that inflation favors borrowers. The money you borrow, by the time you're returning it, that's less value. And because it's fixed, yeah. most of the time they don't peg interest rates to inflation. Like lenders, they don't exactly. say, oh, they are going to, it's a fixed interest rate. They will tell you, you're giving me 25% in the next two months. And that's that. So if inflation reaches 40%, they're actually the ones losing. So those are three very key things for this year. Dollar, lending, buying bulk. Dollar. I'm just going to repeat it again sure. for at least if you don't get anything. Dollar lending buying book. So just to just to move towards concluding for our first ever ep- episode of the season two. So I like you yep. to talk about investments for this year. Invest because it's been a lot of activity. When we first yeah. did the pod, that was one of the worst year for stocks. And then bam, 2023 happened. Yeah, the thing was to the moon. Year to date, seventy percent, eighty percent, two hundred percent. Then Nvidia came, Rah! like AI. There was also the AI boom. <laughs> so like, there's been a lot. There was a whole rally throughout the whole last year. There's a whole lot of, and also, don't forget that crypto made a comeback. Crypto that was, yeah, crypto. Uh, made. In other words, crypto boys are back. Dumped. Yeah, crypto, crypto boys, boys are, are back. back. And, and the whole, the whole, this thing, there's a whole lot of things in like the investment space. So, what, how are you looking at towards this year? Oh, which investments, which? 
which investments to make and stuff. Yeah. I generally think that when it comes to investments, investments should be very boring. Like it's like investments that last long, that provide best returns are usually the ones where they are boring. Like you are not a trader. Most people, we are not um, fund managers. We are not um, stock markets. We are because not. We are, most I think the, just word, the word the the word to use there is we are not built for trading. If you know what traders, they're not built for. If yes, you know they face a lot of a lot of them. Ninety percent of them lose money, you know. So hmm. you don't want to be losing the money that you have. So let's yeah. just let's just call it be like investing should be boring. It's meant to be, and I learned this from like listening to a lot of Warren Buffett's, like yeah. um. His um, AGM annual general meetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's just of like. Berkshire. Did you, did yeah, you watch the last of Berkshire one? Yeah, Berkshire Hathaway. I didn't watch the last one, actually. Okay. I didn't watch the last one. And he's just like, I pick good companies that I feel like even if a dummy, you know, a stupid person is running the company, the company is still going to perform well. And that's how yeah. I believe in the business. Get. Yeah. So I'm not even interested in interest rates or up and down movements in the market. Like what really matters to me is that hey, I have strong conviction in something that is stable yeah. and I can trust in over a given period of time. And that's yeah. what investing does. Like that is like any other thing that is short term, like medium term, all of those things, like they don't really matter when you're really thinking of long term. So I feel like most people, like if you really want to do investing this year, you should be thinking long term. Like, what, so what, what like is the, your definition of long term? What is your definition? Definition of long term is now it differs for most people, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, so for for a typical Nigeria now, long term might be twelve. What, what's your definition <laughs> of a typical? Or, no, no, no. Wait. What's your definition of a typical Nigeria? You have to specify. There's like so many. Are you talking about people yeah, typical... who are married? People. Well, no, my people in what age bracket? So, like, it long term for most people in within mid twenties to early thirties. So I'm, yeah. I'm putting it that within that age range. Anything this like two all years genders, long term. All genders. Yeah, all genders, all of them. Okay. They mostly think that anything two years is long term. Like two years in Nigeria is mm. long term. That's a very long period of time. Yeah, because anything, Jiggets. anything are changing. Yeah. I'm anything sorry. can happen. In, for, <laughs> so but like if you talk to people in the u.s like long term is like five years 10 years 20 years mm. when you retire Jiga. so like it really differs um especially like the more prosperous you are the more long term you're actually thinking as a country as a as an individual because you feel like you're going to live longer Jiggets, and you feel yeah. like oh you have more things to actually achieve for nigeria most people actually think like long term is two years and which is fine to be honest um, but I'm not here to like debate you know, long term and which one long is term long term. Or... But I think everyone should have like what I'm doing right now. I want to do it for a particular goal in mind in the next one year or two years, right? I want to do it for a particular reason. I want to do it for my kids, or I want to do it for maybe five to ten years after. Like that's that should be like your t- your people should be thinking long term. People should not be thinking yeah. in months. You shouldn't be saying, oh, I want to get my money in three months. If I put my money here to double in three months. If you can double in three months, you can you can fall by you can lose everything in three months as well. Yeah. So I think that's really important. So investing should be boring. Um mm. I, I I honestly think that most people should just try as much as possible to diversify because you don't know where things are happening. You don't know what's shifting around you. So yeah. if you feel like um your your strongest portfolio should be something that is really stable. So if you, if you know that dollar is a really stable, dollar savings is really stable, so you don't have to really think too much. Um, so that's good. Um, what savings does for you as a person is that it allows you to take seize opportunities that you feel like is going to do well. So you might say, okay, if I'm saving for this um, and I'm saving in a very strong currency, I can take opportunities in maybe a business, a new business that I'm doing. Or I can take opportunities in maybe like I want to buy like Facebook stock or something like that. And you trust that Facebook is going to be around for years in Tesla. Tesla just went up recently. 
So he just wants to yeah. buy a share because he feel like Tesla is going to be one of the biggest companies, you know. If you, but he wants to buy Nvidia stock, and all of a sudden Nvidia Nvidia had like a bad quarter, you know. And you have like you've saved over a thousand dollars, and you're just like, ah, you're it's like this is the time of, to spend this money. Do you get? So the savings allows you to take charge of opportunities in a very big way. I think that's really important when you're thinking. If I like as much as you can, spread your tentacles. Don't have all your money. Don't have all your eggs in one basket. Try as much as possible to. Um, but don't diversify too much because that's when you like you lose money. When you, you lose money when you don't diversify and when you diversify too much that's like it's, it's a very so it's like it's finding, it's like finding a balance just between the two yeah yeah so you really mm. have to find a balance like your portfolio like if you have the smaller your money is like the more you should diversify in a very like constrained way so you could do mm. a diversification of okay i'm going to do maybe a 20 20 60 that kind of thing but someone that has like you know, a million dollars or, you know, $500 million can afford to do a 10, 10, 20, 20 kind of thing because yeah. they're playing in larger numbers. But they are really yeah, good at, you have to actually diversify. Yeah, substantial. Yeah. So you have to actually diversify as much as you can, but don't diversify too much. If you have strong conviction in, like, in a particular thing, um, it's always important that you make sure you do your own research, obviously. But if you have strong conviction, yeah. don't, don't, don't go to the stock market and buy like 10 different stocks with your $1,000 or with your 200K Naira. You're not going to maximize the value of that investment, do you get? So if you want to buy stocks, like you can just pick like three. I, I feel like that was, like that was the <laughs> shit. No, I didn't mean it that way, actually. I mean, like, I mean, just... that, that was small money, you know? <laughs> but I'm sorry, I say I understand what you're saying. So, kind of, like, if you're doing, like, 200K, like, just, I know you want to buy all the stocks in the world, but just hold it. Just yes, like, which yes, company yes, do yes. I feel like I can trust that they can do well within the next two to five years? Like, just pick that mm. one and put it, and just forget it. Like, just forget. There, there mm. was a documentary I saw that Warren Buffett, what he does is that he just reads new pa- newspapers like he's not opening the stock market trying to understand what's going on. He just comes in, yeah. eats, drinks his coke, eats his burger, you know, and read a newspaper and make one or two decisions and he's fine. Yeah. It, investing is not, it's, you have a job to do. You're investing is not your job. Your job is to put money that you trust can do really well uh, and you can just focus on other things in your life. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah that's pretty yeah. much what I can say. What do you think? What do you think on your yeah. end? What do you think about like investing this year? So for this year, I think what we are on as a as a global number one, markets have opened up more than ever before. Do you get what I'm saying? I mean, sure, last year, two years, you could do foreign stocks, but the kind that we have now, we've never had it before. You can literally put money yeah. anywhere, everywhere, anyhow. There's more payment options that can open up more. So I think for me, my own advice to be more towards the more active people. Yours, <clears throat> sorry, yours is, is more focused towards passive people, like, oh, just put your money and go. So for me, my advice to be towards more active people. Number one, know yourself this year. Like, take your time to understand yourself. As much as, yeah. oh, but this is doing you, but this is doing you. Ask yourself, if you lose 70% of your portfolio, can you see sleep? There's a rule that they cannot sleep. They will need to carry them to the hospital. You understand? Because they would, if they yeah. leave them by themselves, they will literally maybe slice their hand as a way of punishing them. <laughs> we don't want that for anybody. Do you get what I'm saying? So, like, just sure. understand yourself this year. Decide that, oh, because in, a lot of times what people fall into is peer pressure. You see that, oh, this person on, let's say this person on Twitter just bought a car and is a crypto boy. Me, sir, 10 years after the crypto. They have not told you that he has done like 50,000 trees. 30,000 of those things are losses. Mm. So you're not going to exactly. enter your first loss. You're now weeping. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's that? What's, what's, what's that? What's that slang? They play. <laughs> they play. <laughs> so just taking out time this year to really understand yourself. Then number two, you need to focus on trends. Where is the money yeah. going? Where is the direction going, going? Two years ago, it was Web3. Web3 had its own, it had its own 
yeah. up and downs. But now we are trying to, we are now seeing like the purpose for Web3. We are seeing like, oh, ado- yeah. the adoption is getting higher, there's value. So follow trends, know where the trends are going. And another thing when you're making investment decisions is that make sure that those trends are backed by value. You understand? You don't just want to put your money in something that is a trend, though. People are riding on it. I don't want to mention, okay, I don't need to mention the company, but I can mention the name NFTs. People were jumping on it. But there was no inherent value to it. In crypto and the rest, and the, 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 there's serious. The other day, we had a user trying to send money through crypto and it literally took five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah. Banks will not even do that for international transactions. He was transferring money from where? Is it UK or US? And UK. It was UK. So that is like a very valid use case. Do you get what I'm saying? That's a very valid use case. So we want to make sure that you are following the trends. You are following the trends and that those trends that you are following, whatever it is, it has value. You don't just want to be doing a Something that does not have value. Anyway, so sorry, having something distracted me. But anyway, so number one, know yourself. Number two, follow trends. How do you follow trends? Just keep yourself updated. Know, for example, now, um, what are the biggest? If someone had bought Nvidia in January, by now you probably have gotten like eighty percent. So I think I'm saying just because of at the, at yeah. the point there was a particular quarter, either Q two or Q three. They double their profits in one quarter. Literally double their profits. So just understanding that, and even if you cannot even cash in on the latest trend, you can cash in on what's next. You understand? And you can, like I said, make sure that whatever is next is backed by value. So I think those are the two key things on my end. I would say that you should look for this year because people don't want to miss out on the next best thing. Do you get it? We were talking yeah, about it the other day. I was talking about how in the past, for example, some some companies missed out on, for example, BlackBerry missed out on like the whole smartphone era. Mobile phone. And how they yeah, were saying that no uh, keypads will never be obsolete. Da, 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 da. And we saw how, for example, ah, which other company? I was reading about how I was reading about the streaming era and how Spotify and the rest literally kicked over all the CDs and everything and turned CDs obsolete. Yeah. And Spotify and the rest actually better from like piracy. Like people stream yeah. ripping the CDs and stuff like that. So people don't want to be left out. Like people companies have learned they don't want to be the one. That's why now everybody's mentioning AI. Every big company is doing their own small, small AI. If they can't do they're investing in companies who are already doing to get just nobody wants to miss out. No grief for anybody. But it was a grief for anybody. So <laughs> this year, look towards trends. If you are looking to 2x, 3x, 4x, all those kind of things, look towards trends with value. So those are just my two cents. Two or two. Two cents or, awesome. or two. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I think, yeah. I think we've covered, we've covered most of the uh, so spending outlook, saving outlook, investment outlook. We've covered a lot of a lot of things this year. So this year, what are you looking forward to for the slice for 2024? For the slice? Yes. Um, I, I, getting guests, plenty guests to come in. Yeah, like, so we're going to start. Yeah, guests just, outside of, yeah. Yeah, it's um, outside of us. Really interesting guests. So outside yeah. of us. So you'll not be hearing our voice too much. Um, yeah. But you will be. I mean, some episodes would have us there. Um, we are now in more places so you can listen. You will not have an excuse not to listen to us. So we are on YouTube, we are on Spotify, <laughs> we are, we, we'll be on everywhere. So you get everywhere. to see us more. Yeah. Um, I, hopefully we get to like a, a thousand listeners, you know, per month. I think that that would be cool. You know, that. You, you, are having, you are having that. Do you know what I'm seeing this year? That at what? the end of the year, we'll have a situation whereby the listeners are like, we need a live show. We need to see. <laughs> like, this is me. This is me. I'm thinking big now. Like we need a life. Oh, That's bad, like bad, bad. I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think there's any validation of like what they are doing. That's more than that for a pod. Any live show. I don't think cool. live show. That would be super. So, it's a stretch goal. 
but I won't say it's impossible. It's nothing impossible when you're focused. It, so that for set, me is what I'm goals. looking set, for. Set long term goals. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll look at the kids to us. That. So please, if awesome. and how we know when it's time for that is that they are always telling us, they are always reaching out, always giving us feedback, always commenting. Like awesome. that's how we know that okay, yeah. we are not speaking into the we are just talking. We are just here. Yeah. So yeah, also this year. Like I said, we are not green for anybody. So on all platforms, we are like sharing more. This, we just started the voice chat sessions this year. We've had one already. So if you miss yeah. out of that. So what we are trying to do is that we're just trying, trying to have a place where everyone can speak. So there's no speaker. There's no, there's no minister of finance or anything. It's just me and you like learning from each other. So it's like, it's like a community town hall or something like that. So yes, yeah, so yeah. join the tribe. You need to join the tribe to be part of that. So just wanted to add that there. So I think, John, we can close up for us. Awesome. So, I mean, we learned a lot in this episode. Just a quick recap so that everybody gets the gist. We we spoke about, like, what are we looking out for in the year 2024? Yeah. We spoke about the last year, things that we missed. Um, we also talked about, like, the spending outlook, so how people are going to spend based yeah. on what's happening here in Nigeria. We spoke about savings as well and other investment opportunities that people should be looking out for and how they should view that as well. So this episode is really just focusing on, you know, starting the year on a good note yeah. with some fresh mm. perspective. And yeah. hopefully everyone by the end of the year is going to be a billionaire. Okay, that's the goal. So I have plenty of billionaires. Look, so look, <laughs> look, look. On the pod. Look, look. Um, yeah. Please remember to if you love this episode and you like what we're doing here, subscribe, share, tell your friends about it. So um, I wanted to and, I wanted to say something yeah. just before we go. So sure. we, we have we're doing it. We're going to do a, a pod poll. I don't know if any of the platforms accept polls or the ones that can take comments. So if you are still if you get to this point in the pod, I want you to comment how yeah. much you think the naira to dollar rate will be by the end of this year. So just let yeah. us know. That'd be cool. Let's yeah, know who would I believe? You people should believe, please, I beg. Yeah, so if you think it would be 200 naira, put it. If you think it would be five, so was telling me 5k the other day, I screamed. If you think it would be 5k, <laughs> put it there. Is bad, if you think it would be 1k. Okay. Funny is enough, we did this in December, and people are already going back to check their predictions. So if you are not, <laughs> if you not do that, just write it below and let us know. And you can also come back that next year or because it will always be there. You can always come back and say, ah, yeah, that's true. I predicted and it came right. I should replace uh, Mr. Kadioso. So, it's supposed <laughs> to be the next year ago. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's, that's a wrap for me. That's a wrap for me. Right, so guys. good to be back um, after one, one year. Really good. So, looking forward. Really good. 2024. That's our year. Shut down, shut down. It's our year. No grief for anybody. No grief for anybody. No at all. Peace out, guys. Take care. Thanks, David. See you in the next episode, guys. Bye.